had quite a few people reach out to me from India wanting to know you know how how would how they would fit into the society here in Gambia you know with the concerns of some people still believe that like there are only um, black people or African people here in Gambia but Gambia is truly a melting pot and so anyway today's interview is going to be a very short interview with a business owner here in the Gambia that moved here from India Kunal has been living in Gambia for the past four years. He actually moved from India to Gambia to help his brother run SP Electrical, which is an electrical mini market store. Do you feel comfortable like living because people have the concern about, you know, that maybe Gambia only has black people here? No, 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 no. They all are human beings. They all are the same. Me, I'm not compared for a human, black and white. They all are the same. All people are my brother and my sisters in uh -huh. Gambia and the Gambia president is very nice for this country, atmosphere, climate, all everything, we are good. Just we are come mm -hmm. from a nice business. So would, would you recommend, you know, for back home, the people who are interested in starting a business here in the Gambia, you know, how do you feel like the business opportunity is for them? Is Yeah, opportunity is good. Me, I suggest many people come here for in Gambia, you can open here business. And the business is good like here. So that's why. Right. And you have more than one business here, so well, tell us about the the two businesses that you guys are running here in Gabia. Yes, two business. My one shop. Before time, I have two shop, but right now I have one shop and the one restaurants. And the my br big brother is my owner. And my, he's my big brother. is very nice brother. The name of Sunny. What's your best selling your best selling item here in the store? Very fast when people are going for ceiling light decoration fan. Multicolor sport light and the ceiling lights also and the decoration fan was Bluetooth music fan Especially mostly are we give you two electric items. We are gate lights Okay, that is moving fast. Okay. All right. Thank you <laughs> So I wanted to mention a few pointers you definitely want to invest into a security uh, video surveillance uh, software <laughs> um, if you have this type of shop. So most of the shops in the stores in Gambia actually don't have video surveillance, but if you have this type of store, you definitely want to have a, a video surveillance. And also whether you need staff or not, um, it would be good if you just hire at least one person so that you know, you're know you not in the store by yourself because um, you know you have expensive items in this type of store and it would be difficult for one person you know, just to be able to keep an eye on everything, make sure no one's coming in and just taking items. Um, it's also a safety precaution. But so our family shops at this store, we definitely buy like our uh, fans and just different things that we need in the for the house and it's located at Bruce B turntable. So I, I got a question about how much the rent would be to have an electrical store or an electrical mart in Gambia. It definitely depends on the area. So if you have this type of store around Bruce B uh, turntable, you would be looking to pay probably like at least $4,000 and up a year. And, it, and this is about the size. Actually, this is I took from the front door, the size. I don't have the square footage. But um, so whenever I sat down and spoke to the owner, I was able to interview um, the actual owner, um, the one that I got on camera, that's his brother, but I was able to interview the owner um, off camera and he basically was saying this particular store at its full capacity would hold around $20,000 of merchandise. You know, um, so that's one of the one of the things that I wanted to mention there, of course, is no minimum dollar amount, you know, for you to get started, but you would make more money. The more stock that you have in the store and the more items you have available, you you would make more money. He was saying that one of the biggest mistakes people make whenever they move from India um, is that they ship a container without collaborating with someone who's already on the ground where they can guide them as far as which items are in demand. He was saying that it's a it will turn into basically like a, a big mess if you just go off of your imagination as far as items that are needed and you just get a bunch of merchandise and ship it. You want to get guidance from someone who is already in Gambia that has a similar business that has had success with a similar business um, like the one that you're interested in running. So I hope that you guys found this video to be useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.